Falls in just outside of Flagstaff, um, Arizona. I found it online. If you were to add the two tiers of Grand Falls together, they would measure higher than the Niagara Falls. The falls are fed by snowmelt in the Little Colorado River and runs through Navajo Nation land. We were there just after the snow had stopped melting, so we were not able to get the full experience. From Flagstaff, we spent a morning down in Sedona to check out the popular Devil's Bridge Trail. A scenic drive down the Schnembly Hill Road was recommended to us, and so we took it. Turns out, it's a rough 4x4 trail that is heavily used by Jeep tours in the area, but the views were worth it. Devil's Bridge Trail was packed on the Saturday. We didn't stay long at the top, but did manage to watch a few people from the line walk over and dangle their feet off the edge. we took another incredible scenic drive back to the camper. This time through Sedona, where due to city ordinances, McDonald's has blue arches. After the switchbacks, you're rewarded with the views of the valley. The Hoover Dam, one of the seven man-made wonders of the U.S., was built in the 1930s during the Depression. The dam was built in only five years, a full two years before the project was supposed to be completed. We highly recommend a tour. We did the shorter power plant tour in the generator room. So the reason we needed a dam was back when the Colorado River had free rain. There were periods of drought and then periods of flooding. That cycle made it really difficult for the agricultural industry. Now when you look at the generator itself, you're seeing three stories of a seven story structure. There's an additional four stories below the flooring. Each of the 15 Hoover Dam generators produce 130 megawatts of energy and when combined, supplies power to about a million homes. Hey Alec, where are we? We're in Vegas. Las Vegas, baby. RV 
city for a few months. Oh yeah. We don't really go out very often, do we? The biggest city we've seen since Denver, probably. Having a, a simulation overload. There's Spider Man. There's Spider Man right there. I love the energy, I love the lights. Um, yeah, this is really, really cool. What do you think? It's great. He's like, oh. The next morning, we moved out of Nevada towards Death Valley in California, our 12th state and our 11th national park of the trip. Our camp for the night was just outside the park on what appeared to be an abandoned RV park. We had heard conflicting reports on whether or not it was legal for us to stay there, but we saw no signs against it. Death Valley in California at a overlook of some sort. We were on our way to the visitor center and I saw a lot of people up there and so I was like we're going up there too. I had like almost two full you know big old jugs of water and it doesn't really matter you come out here and you just instantly get dehydrated. <laughs> wow this is cool. Death Valley National Park is the largest national park in the lower 48. It is the lowest point in the U.S., being at 282 feet below sea level. It is also the world's hottest recorded temperature at 134 degrees. All this to say, Death Valley National Park is a unique place. There are not too many hikes at Death Valley, mainly because during the summer, at 5 a.m. and 10 p.m., it's still 90 degrees outside. shaped by wind and weather and rain. Um, it's said that on a warm day you can hear it crackling a little bit just because it's expanding. Thank you. 
know, it's crazy too because we've been in like the 6,000 foot range for weeks and now we're even below sea level, which is just bizarre. We race the sun to cross the park and make it in time to the mesquite sand dunes for sunset. What are we doing today? We are climbing and crawling our way out of Death Valley. Yep. Oh yeah. Today is our moving day, right? Yep. How long are we gonna move for? Mm, probably realistically like eight hours. Yeah. What makes Death Valley difficult to pull a camper through is mainly the heat. It is also a straight up climb from the 282 feet below sea level to almost 5,000 feet over the course of 20 miles without a chance to let off the gas. This can easily lead to overheating and cause us to pull over about three-fourths the way up. this running joke that we're in hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold weather, right? Yes. So we just left hot this morning, and now it, we're in the snow again. I had sandals on, because I was expecting to be warm, but it is not. We found the road to our campsite at 7,400 feet was still snowed in, so we stayed the night in the parking lot. really cool it's really beautiful and the roads are so windy yeah. that you almost have to stop 
It's weird because we were just in the desert yesterday, so it's like we've been in a desert for a month and now we see full green. lush green. I think Alec is gonna attempt to hug this tree. Oh look at the squirrel! Oh it's so small and cute! Wow. Okay, we are at the Sequoia National Park here in California. Yep. What do you think? This is, as we've said before, <laughs> grand on another scale <laughs> that cannot be properly communicated. No. Without being here, watch out for the branch. <laughs> do you think that this is your favorite park now? I. It's really hard to like, so it's just Which so different one? in different ways. Yeah. I, I think this is probably one of my favorite parts. I love... Like top five? Oh, easily, yeah. Really? I took a um, motion sickness little tablet just in case because you're driving. So with me driving, it's not bad, but with you, you like to whip it. <laughs> Coming from the person with the curb. One time. <laughs> Sequoias are some of the tallest, oldest, and largest trees in the world. Their bark helps them grow to such a staggering size because of their resistance to its enemies, fire and beetles. Almost every sequoia we saw had fire scars from previous forest fires. Hey Alex, so you're pretty much like drooling right now. Yes. He really is. I think he's wanting to chop down all these trees to make furniture, but... No, I enjoy looking at them. Plus, I don't have any way to harvest it. to the General Sherman tree. I think this is the largest tree in the park, or one of the largest trees in, in the world. world. It's, I don't think it's, it's the, the largest tree in the world. By volume. Oh. The General Sherman is a staggeringly large tree. Several of its branches are over six feet in diameter, which is larger than most tree trunks. At its base, its diameter is 36 feet and is estimated to weigh 4.1 million tons. Oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> oh, 
Honey, they might run into your car. Just let them chill. <laughs> what? Honey. I'm, I'm going incredibly slow. Do you want to get hit? <laughs> Are you looking for an insurance payout? What's the deal? You really like that <laughs> spot. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I'm here. Oh my god. No, no. <laughs> Don't lick that. <laughs> Stop licking. Honey, you're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> he does not care. Nope. You taste really good. I have your cousin in my fridge. I got your friends in my freezer, man. <laughs> 